Am I the butthole for not trying harder to tell my husband I was in labor? My husband who I do love and does love me. Is a distant and private person. To everyone. His mom was having health problems and I didn't know until weeks later when I spoke to her. I asked him how she was doing later and he said he didn't know. That's just how he deal with things. He doesn't want to get too personal with anyone. We share hobbies and can have good conversations as long as they are not too personal. It can be off-putting but I do genuinely enjoy his company. Jump to this last week. I am pregnant and went into labor. It was only a few days before my due date so nothing concerning. I tried to call his work but his phone went right to voicemail because he was in a meeting. I text him. Still no answer. I waited a half hour the tried again and still couldn't get through. My labor was getting further along. So I called a friend to get a ride to the hospital. By the time my husband checked his phone at the end of the work day, I had already given birth to our daughter. Everything was very straightforward no complications we were ready to leave by the next morning. My husband is upset with me though. Saying I should have come by his work to tell him it was time. But he has always been distant about work. I know what department he works in but not where his office is in the building. It would have been awkward. My husband has told me what I did was unforgivable. He hasn't called me a butthole but has said I am horrible person for denying him the joy of seeing our daughter born. Am I the butthole for not trying harder to contact him? Info because a lot are asking. I did text specifically that I was in labor. I left voicemail to the same. I panicked a bit and didn't call his office because he likes to keep work and home separate. Which means I don't know a lot about his work and I was worried I would overshare to his co-workers by calling. And him not checking his phone. That is a part of his work home split too. He doesn't deal with anything work related at home but also just put his personal phone out of his mind at work. It is rare for me to get a response from him at all while he is at work on a normal day. He expected you, a person in labor, to come to his work to find him, and he had his phone off, instead of silence or whatever, when he very much knew that you were days from your due date? Not the butthole, your husband is just clueless. He needs to have been better in general about paying attention. When your wife is getting writhing three frickin' weeks of her due date, it is up to you to keep your phone on you at all times. This wasn't a surprise baby, he knew it was coming, and once you are within a week of the due date it can really come at any time, the person carrying the baby already has enough to keep track of and do, the partner only really has to check their damn text messages. I can't imagine what his co-workers would have thought if his wife showed up in labor and was all my husband won't check his phone, I'm expected to go get him and then proceeded to have a baby in the front lobby because she didn't take her ass to a hospital. I promise you people would tell that story for years and everyone at work would consider him a butthole of the highest order. Was coming here to say this. I'm sorry, but he was an idiot about this. My husband works in a large factory. I don't have a work number for him, just his cell. So before I had my last two kids, we had a plan in place in case he didn't answer. I had the numbers of four different co-workers of his that could track him down if necessary. The fact that neither of you thought about this possibility is mind-boggling, but ultimately it was his responsibility to say hey, here's how to reach me in an emergency. My husband works in mining and it isn't allowed to have his phone on him during his shift. From seven months he had a special clearance to keep his phone on him and I had his supervisor's phone number. This husband is a massive butthole. I don't live with my kid's dad friend who's a known sperm donor, and when I was 8 months pregnant with each of the kids we had like 4 different backup plans for how I would reach him in the middle of the night if I went into labor and he didn't answer his phone. And he's not even legally the parent of the kids. Obviously husband is a massive butthole for blaming original poster for all of this. It was much more his fault than hers. But I have to ask for info, op, did you too? Never discuss. What you should do if you went into labor while he was at work? If so, I'm so flabbergasted by that that I'm almost borderline ESH, though husband way more than up. Like. It appears to not have occurred to husband that this could happen, but did it also not occur to you, op? That is absolutely baffling to me. Did you have any kind of birth plan? Did you have any conversations with anyone in advance about how you would get to the hospital? If your husband works 40 hours a week and commutes back and forth, that's probably like one quarter of the week that he's not at home. How could you have never had a conversation about what should happen if you went into labor during that one quarter of the time? 
I think it's more that original poster is just taking whatever breadcrumbs of showing up that this dude is willing to give her. He sounds like he has an avoidant attachment style on overdrive, someone who is terrified of intimacy of any kind. We share hobbies and can have good conversations as long as they are not too personal. They sound like buddies or roommates. I get that there is no standard model for a fulfilling relationship, but I also wouldn't be surprised if original poster has just been conditioned to take what she can get. This right here. With your partner and mother of your child, you should be able to have more personal conversations than with anyone else. It's extremely unusual to not have personal conversations at this point in a relationship. It kind of sounds like he generally holds original poster at arm's length. I feel bad for her. Like, they can be intimate enough that he puts a baby in her, but they can't have personal conversations? Not trying to judge anyone's relationship if it works for them, but it honestly sounds like this isn't really working out for them, you know? The personal and deep conversations are one of the best things about a serious and functioning relationship. I absolutely couldn't live like this. I also feel bad for her. I feel bad for her, but worse for their child. Imagine growing up with a dad like that. My husband was in the Navy on a submarine. If he had been underway, aka very unavailable, while I was pregnant it would have been easier for me to tell him I was in labor than it seems to have been for this woman. Totally not the butthole. Just out of curiosity, how would you have told him if he was so unavailable? Not a submarine wife, but a former Navy wife. If at any time there is an emergency and your military family member is unavailable for you to reach out to directly or you cannot reach his unit, boat, etc., you contact the Red Cross. They will get takeover and track them down for you and get them the message, and if necessary provide emergency funds to get your military member back to you, if their command approves emergency leave. Every military family, should, absolutely knows this and it's one of the first things you are taught. Edit, and sometimes when communications are down due to the mission or just crappy connection in whatever part of the world they are in, that emergency message is in fact your child has been born. My husband said that the message congratulations to, insert military spouse here. As of, insert date slash, you have a new son slash daughter. Over the ship's intercom managed to be both happy and depressing. As a Red Cross volunteer, yes. I tell people this all the time. The services to the armed forces is awesome and very helpful. Former military wife. Can confirm, and I've had to do exactly that before. The Red Cross had my husband on an emergency line within a couple hours. Edit, not the butthole, planning should have definitely occurred for both parties, though. They have methods of communication still. Back when I was born, they had snail mail communication to announce my birth so I imagine there are points where they allow some form of internet access. I think the commenter above meant she could communicate to him quicker than the husband in ops post did but not necessarily get her husband there sooner since you know submarine. Source, 1990s Polaroids of my birth and the snail mail announcement. The problem is their daughter is inconsiderate for not holding on long enough and disrupting the delivery schedule. She should have consulted the project plan and stuck to the original incubation agreement. Not the butthole, your husband needs to own his failure to check his phone. I can't imagine what his co-workers would have thought if his wife showed up in labor and was all my husband won't check his phone, I'm expected to go get him I bet that scenario would also involve okay, I just have to finish this first, wait here a bit. Alternatively could have ended like, why would you bring this into my workplace? You know I like keeping them separate. Not related to the reply but how does someone who clearly can't communicate effectively ever find someone to marry and impregnate? How are they even on the same page? I have so many questions. Yes, it feels like original poster was put in a double bind here. She was in labor and was concerned about stuff like husband won't like it if I overshare to his co-workers. Then he is angry with her anyway immediately after she's given birth. That kind of stress is harmful and could have caused complications with the birth and can still cause later complications like postpartum depression. He straight up said that she should have physically made a detour to his work, while in active labor, to try to find him. It's not okay at all and it would have made a huge scene which would have made him look bad in front of his co-workers. He would have been furious either way. The two weeks before my due date I had to start ever text with. I'm not in labor can you xyz? Lol not the butthole, I'm so sorry he's blaming this on you. This. 
100%. Not the butthole op. I see so many red flags in your post. I can't even find the words to express how incredibly disturbing this whole situation is. Keeping work and home life that separate, you don't even know where his office is, is incredibly disturbing. What is he hiding? So much this. No kids of my own, but 20 years ago when cell phones weren't ubiquitous, my brother went and got a pager when his wife was nearing her due date so that she'd be able to get a hold of him right away. And while I am someone who rarely checks her phone during the day, whenever times arise, usually medical situations, where I need to be able to be reached, I keep my phone nearby and check it regularly during the day to make sure. Husband is the butthole here for sure. Op also just sounds like she's always walking on eggshells around him, worrying about invading his privacy, when in fact he's keeping her at arm's distance and withholding emotional intimacy. Sounds like Op's husband wants to use this incident to further blame everything on original poster and manipulate her. My God please rethink your relationship. Yes. Why oh why is he so private that she wouldn't call his place of work and ask anyone to please find him because she was in labor? That just seems ludicrous to me. What does he do if she infringes on his privacy? I have to assume it's really not good or else she would have been calling everyone and their mother to make sure he got to the hospital. The fact that she also seems ho-hum about him missing the birth makes me think that maybe she's better off without him. My husband once worked in a high security job where his personal phone was not allowed in the building. Know what he did? Checked his phone for each break, and lunchtime just in case something happened at home. If there was an emergency there was a number I could call, and he would have been given my message. Op's husband had a pregnant wife at home and didn't check his phone, and is reflecting the blame onto her because he is a sucky spouse and now everyone who knows the birth story knows. Not the butthole, and don't let him guilt you. Oh yeah. She's already a bother to him. Can't imagine what the next couple of months hold. Right? I know this isn't the quite the same but my husband missed our son's birth because he went in the ER about an hour or so before I actually gave birth. He's still upset about it four years later. The fact that the wife doesn't care is concerning and they maybe don't have a close relationship because of this privacy issue in their life. I cried after my husband got pushed out in a wheelchair because he wouldn't be there. As an assertive, confident woman in a healthy relationship with a loving partner, who had to fight hard to get here because I was abused by my family of origin and by my first partner, this post is sickening their relationship is terrifying to me. I don't think original poster really even has a clue how unhealthy and not normal her situation is. Because she isn't here asking if she should leave him, she is here asking if she is to blame for her husband being negligent and then blaming her for his terrible mistreatment of her. It's heartbreaking. Up. PLS listen, your husband is abusing you. If you stay, your child will grow up as confused and fearful as you are. You are a mom now, you have to be stronger than you have ever had to be. You have to leave him. Get yourself into therapy first, alone not couples, and seek help there. They will help you figure this out. As a husband who is terrible at being personal with anyone, Op's relationship worries me as well. At least I am not against the idea of being personal, I just don't know how, and I do everything in my power to give my wife the emotional connection she deserves thank god she is willing to put up with me and work with me on my issues, but Op's husband isn't even trying. He has trained her to stay at arm's length and to walk on eggshells. It's scary. Even I can tell that's not a healthy relationship, and I can recognize there is abuse happening there. Original poster take emu limps advice. Not the butthole your husband let you down. He wasn't there for you for the birth of your child and he's making it about him. He has twisted this. This. Not the butthole, not only that the husband is being selfish for expecting her, going into labor by the way, to drive by his work and go to the hospital all while she's in immense pain and blaming original poster when it's not her fault at all and she can't control when her baby is born besides she tried calling him and he didn't answer. I'm wondering if the people he works with even knew his wife was pregnant. Or that he had a wife. Sir, you're in the hospital after an accident, who is your next of kin? This guy don't you think that's a bit of a personal question? At least one wife. I mean, could she have called his work and said there was a family emergency and he needs to contact her? Sure. But she's also the one in labor. And he's obviously made it clear that he doesn't want to deal with home stuff at work to the point where she felt this was the best way to proceed. If he cared so much, 
he would have planned for it or at least mentioned how important it was and how to contact him. She could have done more, but she's not obligated to jump through hoops to try and get his attention for something he should be supporting her through. I honestly think that he's got original posters so deeply indoctrinated to his when I am at work you will never call me ever mindset that she honestly might never have thought of it as an option. I'm not the only one picking up on the weird vibes of a husband who is great to talk to as long as it's not about anything personal. I'm really flabbergasted. Op is not the butthole and her husband is making it all about him missing out on the birth while ignoring that his own choices mean he wasn't there to support her during that incredibly painful, stressful, joyful time. Hubs should be asking forgiveness, not whining but what about me? Totally agree. There's something very wrong about the way he treats her and their relationship. Seems like she's got some rose-colored glasses on and is ignoring some major issues. He's got her pretty much blocked out of his life. I'm seriously curious what their marriage is like and based on. My husband and I talk about everything. I couldn't imagine even dating someone who wouldn't open up to me. I'm surprised he didn't want her to keep her giving birth stuff separate from his being a dad and partner stuff, anyhow. How is he going to be a parent in general if he has literally no concern for and feels zero responsibility to anyone around him? I genuinely feel really awful for this child. Having a distant parent is awful. Right honestly original poster should be the mad one. This right here. You husband let you down tremendously. If he had apologized it would be forgivable. Twisting this against you? That is the unforgivable act. Not the butthole. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.